Okay, we're going to look at um, the difference between uh, legs and hypotenuse and, uh, and the Pythagorean theorem and something you should have been already familiar with. But just to show you here, um, in this picture down here at the bottom here, um, A and, uh, and B here, A and B are both legs and C is called a hypotenuse. Um, the hypotenuse is always opposite, you can see here, opposite the right angle. So it's always going to be opposite. And it always is the longest side of a right triangle. This Pythagorean theorem only applies to right triangles. So please don't do them on any other triangle, only right triangles. And what it says is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. You can't just take the square root of all this and just say, well, then doesn't A plus B equal C? Um, that's not correct. So please don't do that. Okay, that's not correct. Just looking at a couple of examples here, you might have um, this example here where we have two legs, three and four, and well, three squared plus four squared will equal x squared. In this case here, that's going to be nine plus 16. That's going to equal 25. Um, again, that's x squared, so then that means x has to be equal to five. The second one here um, shows that x squared plus five squared is equal to 13 squared. And again, x squared plus 25 is equal to 169. Um, moving this around here, if I subtract 25 from that, I'm going to get x squared is equal to 144, which means that x is equal to 12. Just be careful of this one here. Um, x is equal to 12. A lot of students will want to put 5 squared plus 13 squared is equal to x squared. But again, that's the hypotenuse, so that has to come on after the equal sign. One last thing here. Um, when using something called a distance formula, realize it's exactly the same thing. Um, instead, though, we're calling this, you know, A, this is B, and that's C. And so this is A squared plus B squared. This is C squared, but we square root the whole thing. Again, you can't cancel anything. Careful, be careful of the negative signs here and the plus here. You're going to get those mixed up. But if we do a quick one, finding the distance between these two, uh, plug it into our formula here, you're going to get here that D is equal to... Um, let's see here, you're going to get here negative 2 minus 8. And that's because I'm calling this x2 and this uh, x1. Or sorry, negative 2, not minus 8. Negative 2 minus 0, pardon me. Negative 2 minus 0. I'm going to square that. I'm going to add that to um, 5 minus 8, and I'm going to square that. Ultimately here, I'm going to get here that that's going to be negative 2 squared, which is 4. And this is 5 minus 8, which is negative 3 squared, which was 9. So I end up getting the root of 13, which works out to some number. If you have to put this into your calculator, you may have to and find out that the root of 13 is roughly about 3.6. Um, but again, you can put that in your calculator and find that answer out.